What up sweetness and welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're new here my name is Candy please make sure you like and subscribe for more fashion beauty vlogs all sort of fun stuff today I am doing a the fix fashion haul just like a mini one but I'm also adding them with items and just giving you a few autumn styling tips and tricks which I'm really loving at the moment and I hope you will as well one thing about the fix is that I don't know if these items will still be available because as they get new stock in old stock goes out really quickly I don't know it's just like the fashion changes so quickly in the in the stores but I hope you will enjoy today's video before we get into that I want to give a shout out to the sponsor who is Skillshare now if you don't know who or what Skillshare is let me introduce you guys Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can basically search for any sort of topic that you are passionate about, get lost in your own creativity, or even explore a new skill. You can also learn at your own pace or on your own schedule. Also, because it's curated specifically for learning, there will be no ads, which really means that you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you for less than $10 a month per annual subscription. Currently, I would recommend these two classes that I think is really, really cool. But you can of course search for anything from photography, marketing and even starting your own YouTube channel. I also have a special offer for you guys. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership. So join and let's explore our creativity. So first up we have a really cute little loungewear fluffy shorts now these i've been seeing everywhere like a lot of brands are coming out with their own sort of loungewear items especially that's so like fluffy and you kind of call it like a teddy style i've seen brand new ones at mr price recently um but yeah i just really love these shorts they're almost like knitted wool i would say however i did notice that they are a little bit see-through so they definitely are just for lounging around for the first look i kind of just paired them up with slippers and a teddy um sort of sweatshirt that i just usually lounge around in watch a little bit of tv that sort of thing it's just cute and comfy but you can of course also dress it up with some sneakers and like a branded top once again it's not really uh, pants i would use to go out with but if you like visiting a friend and you guys will just be lounging around watching netflix all day eating lots of sweets and chocolates <laughs> this is just like so comfy and it just makes you feel so warm and cozy and it actually fits really well as well it's not uncomfortable so yeah really like these i must say however that they did have this uh matching bralette sort of crop top almost but didn't really fit me i'm a full chested girl um, and I felt like my boobies kept dropping out <laughs> underneath um, so it wasn't very comfortable to wear really but the pants really love so next up we have this beautiful sort of it's almost like a crop but it's a little bit uh, longer than a crop top and it's also got the split sleeves like the little flared out sleeves and they split at the bottom but let me tell you this feels so soft and luxurious like I wish you guys could feel this through the camera, right Belinda? How nice is this? Very, very nice. <laughs> My sister's here. Yeah. Um, I also like the fact that it it's a bit more open on top. So it comes high, but then it's like the opening is wide around the neck, if that makes sense. So obviously you have to wear your bra straps almost like right on the shoulder. But it's such a beautiful um, little sweater. So for the first look, I wanted to pair it up with a print. So I chose zebra printed pants. I love matching um, textures and prints together. I think it's so fashionable. It's so cool. And then I added some Nike Air Force Ones to really give that casual look but for the handbag I kind of opted for this cute little white bag with some pearls the handbag is actually new from Mr. Price and then for my hair I added these little clips I love the fact that claw clips and little cute clips are back in fashion so just kind of taking it out of my face and keeping it sort of curly uh, gives you like that sort of 
elegant, fashionable, casual look, if we could call it that. So for the second look, you can of course change the jeans to a black pants if you want something a little bit more elegant. But for this, I wanted to go a little bit girly, so I added like an olive um, headband. Then I'm wearing a black belt with some black block heels. And the jeans are balloon jeans, which they're so comfortable, they're so fashionable. They baggy, they can be casual, but as you can see in this look, we really dressed it up a little bit. Um, absolutely love this sort of look for autumn trends. It's nice because your feet are open. Um, well, it's not as cold at the moment, but when it gets chilly, you still like warm enough. Next up, we have this sort of sweatshirt hoodie dress if you could call it that it's not a very thick material um but it's got like a fluffiness on the inside and the reason why it actually spoke to me so much it's got the words unfollow on here and the reason why i really resonated with this is last year i went through a little bit of a tough time with accepting myself and comparing myself with everyone and it took me some time to really reflect on myself and I unfollowed accounts and people that kind of made me feel bad about things I didn't have, ways I didn't look or how I felt about myself. So I do think that unfollow is such a strong word. I know a lot of people say if you don't like something unfollow it but I really think if it's not healthy for you it is healthy to unfollow those sort of pages. So other than that, I really love the design, really love the light baby blue. Absolutely love any sort of sweatpants, loungewear type of vibe, something that's casual and fun. So this outfit I kind of dressed up with a few things. So first up, I made it look really fun and casual with some Crocs. Crocs are so high in fashion at the moment with your little gibbets you can add to customize it. And I added my cute little bag with the pearl handle just to kind of add that little bit of cute, elegant touch to this sort of look. The second look, I'm kind of just wearing it very casual, throwing on some Converse sneakers, um, leggings, and then you can kind of lift up the sweatshirt dress. I have no idea what to actually call this, but it's got like the ribbing at the bottom, so you can kind of tuck it underneath and it almost creates like a very baggy hoodie sort of look which is also really cool and then last but not least i paired up with some zara boots that are nude and i took my hair up with this new elastic called ponyo it's like a I would say there's a piece of metal inside that you kind of just bend around your hair and then it gives you this amazing ponytail. I also think that this is a cute casual but also funky sort of look and I kind of just really see myself wearing this item quite often. So the last item I want to share with you guys is actually an amazing dupe for Doc Martens. We know that Doc Martens can be super expensive. Although they don't look exactly the same, like big chunky sort of boots are really in this season. And I love the fact that it's got like this pop of yellow to the boot. It's just so funky. I kind of just paired it up with two of the outfits I was wearing today. I can pair it up with jeans and it's just like comfortable, fun and really funky. So um, they were really affordable as well compared to Doc Martens and um, yeah it's a great boot that you can wear throughout autumn and winter and beginning of spring where we have like the chilly days still um, but yeah I absolutely love it so that is it for my little fix haul with some autumn styling tips. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section down below which outfit was your favorite. And if you do shop at the fix at all and why do you love their clothing? I would just love to know your sort of opinion on that. But as always, until my next video, stay sweet. I will talk to you soon. Bye.